Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Great things are going to happen today. It is about 7.50 a.m. I'm walking to my 8 a.m. class right now. It's Tuesday. I'm back in Berkeley. I had an amazing spring break. I'm dressed in workout gear because I'm gonna work out right after class and then right after my workout I have to table for Cal Hawaii Club because we're promoting our luau and trying to sell tickets. So that's the game plan. <laughs> table on Sproul for Cal Hawaii Club. Did I mention I have to table for two hours today so hopefully it goes by quickly. There's some tacos over there that I'm about to get. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, amazing. <laughs> oh, that actually looks good. I like the way you wrote that. I didn't write that. Oh. I'm only writing that. <laughs> Here's our little table. Wow, stunning. Update. It is 11.29. And I'm still here, tabling. I'm just sitting down. Kauri's trying to attract people with her ukulele. <laughs> Go, show us. Huh? Show us what you got. Okay. Uh-huh. Hello everybody, what is up? I haven't talked to you in a few hours. I went to class, I had two classes, and then right after class, I came back here, I just got out of the shower, and I need to get ready for a photo shoot. We're taking pictures for Luau because when we make programs for Luau, we have all the dancers' pictures in it, so we have to take those tonight right before practice. I have practice tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. So, yeah. I'm wearing my Cal Hawaii shirt. I haven't worn this all semester, but I've had it all semester. I don't really like tank tops, like, ugh, I don't know. But we have to wear it for the photo shoot. So, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna do like really light, natural makeup. I'm snacking on an apple and I'm making tea. It's ready. Still hot though, so we gotta wait. I'm gonna do my lips like before I leave because I don't want it to get all crusty. I love the lashes, they're very natural. If you are curious about the kind, they are by the company Kiss in number 11. We have about an hour till I have to start heading over to school. A little bit more than that actually. I'm just probably going to try and get some homework done. Before I do that, there are a couple things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. On Twitter, I took a poll to ask what you guys would prefer me to talk about today. So, if you're not following me on Twitter, you should. And you should also follow me on Instagram, okay? 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and it looks like what I wish I knew before picking a college one. So I wanted to do something related to college because over the weekend, everyone received all of their admissions decisions to college, which is crazy. I did this, was that a year ago or two years ago? Two years ago. Wow. Two years ago, I was in that same position. Honestly, I didn't tell anybody where I got in or where I got denied or anything like that. I only told people where I was going just because, I don't know, I felt like that was something for me and my parents knew and that was about it. And I'm also a very prideful person so I, I didn't want to tell anyone that I got denied anywhere so I just preferred to keep the whole thing a secret. My results ended up being really awesome actually, so there was there was no reason. It's okay if you don't get accepted to every single school, but I don't know. I'm just very prideful and I didn't want anybody to know my business. So what I wanted to talk about is things I wish I knew before accepting to UC Berkeley. Now, my entire high school experience, I was very on top of it. I was getting really good grades. I had a ton of extracurricular activities like 10 different ones and I had a decent SAT score not amazing but I was very college ready and my parents have always pushed me and told me that I have to go to college so I knew I was going to college did I know anything about colleges no did I know where I wanted to go no did I even have a dream school no, I honestly didn't know much about any schools, even when I accepted. I just kind of like floated through the college application process, floated through choosing what college I was going to go to. First thing I wish I knew, I wish I had done more research about the area that I was going to be in and like whether or not I saw myself in this area. I did go here one time in 11th grade. We took a college road trip. Insert picture. We took a college road trip here and we visited the school and I don't remember like any of it. It was more of a social thing for me rather than actually looking at the schools so I did not use that time wisely at all and that was the only time I ever went to UC Berkeley before I admitted here. I think it's very important that you can visualize yourself in an area. The Bay Area and my lifestyle in general is much different than my lifestyle in Southern California and I wish I actually took the time to think about whether or not the Bay Area was somewhere that I could thrive. That's not to say that I'm not thriving, I am, but honestly, part of me thinks that I would be happier in Southern California. Another thing that I wish I had known or thought about more before admitting to Berkeley, it's very closely related to the first thing I said, but it is my lifestyle. So my lifestyle is quite different, I would say. I don't have many family members here or friends up here. I don't have a car, so everything is walking or public transportation. I'm not really used to that. My biggest passion, which is hula and Tahitian dancing, my halal, which is my hula group, is back home. And the halals in this area are a little bit too far for me to travel to. I don't want to take a BART for an hour to travel every week. That's just not in the cards for me and I don't want to do that. The only way I am able to dance is in Cal Hawaii Club, which I love so much and I'm very happy I'm a part of it. But it's, it's not enough. Like, I'm used to dancing a lot and unfortunately I can't do it as much because I can't get to a dance studio. That's basically all I wish I knew slash really thought about before admitting to UC Berkeley. I don't think I took it seriously and I really should have because I'm spending the next four years of my life. Well, two and a half years at this point. I don't want to say that I would be necessarily happier elsewhere, but maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That's just my advice because I really wish that I took the time to actually pay attention when I was here and think about where I actually saw myself. 
But um, either way, I'm very grateful to be here. I'm very grateful that I'm in a position to be here. Hopefully that was a little bit helpful to you. Congratulations to all those that applied and received all their decisions. I got several messages from people saying that they got into UC Berkeley. So congrats and join the Golden Bears. <laughs> I'm going to go do some homework now and I will talk to you guys in a little. Dance party! I'm gonna do like old songs. I'm heading over to practice now before I'm late. I have just enough time, so I need to hurry up. Um, I'll probably vlog some of it, so let's go to practice. Hi everybody, so I'm back home now and I just got home from practice. It is now 9 12 p.m. I am just going to get ready for bed, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Comment down below. Great things are going to happen tomorrow. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>